Hello, my name is Alex Guerrero, and today we're going to be talking about the top three free image editors for social media. And I recommend uh, university departments to use uh, in order to modify or create quick graphics for your social media profiles. My top three choices are Google Drawings, Canva, and Pixel Editor. Now, each one has its own functionality, and each one has its own uh, level of, of learning curve. But in general, they're really easy to use. They're for free, so that saves um, in, in having to, to hire a professional graphic designer or, um, or purchase expensive software. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to learn how to use Google Drawings to create a sample cover image for our Facebook page. Then we're going to go to Canva and we're going to learn how to create a Twitter image for in Canva. And then we're going to just cover briefly Pixel Editor uh, so that you can get an idea of, of what is what you can accomplish using Pixel Editor. So for Google Drawings, the first thing that you need to do is you need to create a Google account. Um, you can use your university email address to create your Google account. So I am using my university address. And once you have your account, you simply go to drive.google.com and then you click on new and then more. And you're going to see the option of Google Drawings. In here, the first thing that you're going to be doing is um, you need to put your name, uh, your file name. So in this case, let's just put Facebook cover sample. And you may need to readjust the image. In this case, I'm going to go to File and then Page Setup. This is the default, but I'm going to change it custom. Instead of pixels, I'm going to select in, instead of inches, I'm going to select pixels. And for Facebook cover, the recommended size is 851 and 315. So this is the default recommended one. The beautiful thing about this is you can add images directly from a Google search, and these images within the Google search. There are uh, created common images or there are stock images that you can use. So I'm going to put background. These are a few of the backgrounds available to use. I'm going to select a simple one. And let's place it there. And then you can add shapes. So for example, I can put this and change the line color. The background color and you can add multiple images the other thing that you can do is you can use images from your Google Drive so for example in here I have a folder with default images that I can use so this is very helpful if, if you have multiple images that you constantly use uh, you can save them directly to your your Google profile uh, your Google Drive and just reuse them throughout your presentations or throughout your social media images or whatever you need to do. So, also you can upload. Um, so in this case, I'm gonna upload the university logo. And you can resize and place it um, anywhere on the image. So now if you need to download it, you simply click on file download as and the recommended for Facebook is PNG um, this is a file format and doesn't uh, get that pixelated when you upload it to Facebook the next one that we're going to cover is uh, Canva Canva is a beautiful tool uh, to create amazing designs and in this case we're going to create a, a Twitter image uh, the first thing that you need to know is Canva has a different model than other social media than other image editing tools uh, in Canva, you pay for graphics. So if you use custom graphics, um, if you use custom graphics, it's for free. But if you use the graphics that they have, the premium graphics that they have, uh, it may end up costing you some money. So I'm going to select more so I can find Twitter. Mm. This is, for example, for the Twitter header. But I just went out Twitter image. Twitter post, there you go. And then the beautiful thing about Canva is it gives you suggestions. So you don't have to reinvent the wheel. Um, you can use some of the designs that Canva has already created. So in this case, let's use this one. 
Um, but as you can see, the background of this image is is um, it's copyrighted. It has the image of Canva. That means that if you want to use that image, you're going to need to pay. Uh, usually, it's one dollar, um, but it can add up eventually uh, with all the costs. So if you don't want to use this one, so you can simply click delete, and there is free background options and you can also upload your own images so you can uh, another option that it has it, it allows you to upload your logo so if you have if you want to use your logo consistently throughout your images you can do so and that's pretty much it. If you need to download, you click on download and then high image quality PNG. And this is the recommended format for the vast majority of the social media platforms. Um, and that's it. If you need to resize it, for example, this is for Twitter, but maybe I want to change the dimensions for um, Instagram. So I can click Instagram and it will automatically resize it image for the perfect post for Instagram, for example. And of course you need to do some layout changes, but uh, in general, it's it's a great tool if you need to create custom graphics on the go. The other one is uh, Pixel Editor. Pixel Editor is a little bit more sophisticated. It allows you to, um, to import PSD files, which is Photoshop files. Um, it, it can become handy if you don't have a graphic designer or maybe maybe you need a quick uh, image but you only have uh, the default PSD file template. So in here you can do that, you can modify PSD files. In this case I'm just gonna use a regular post. Um, you can resize directly in the platform as well. And the beautiful thing about this one is you have more editing capabilities. So instead of having to rely on the external images, you can create your own images in this in this platform. So let's look. Uh, let's import a picture. You can open pictures directly from a URL, which is another option than than other platforms will not offer you. So in this case, let's go to the main university page and let's say that I want to use this image. I can right click on the image and copy image address and I can verify that it's the correct address. Yes. And I can paste the address of the image in here. It's going to automatically import the image and if I want to make modifications, for example, let's say I want to um, change the canvas size to a typical Instagram size and I want to cut it like that. Perfect. So now let's still set the background. Okay, so now if I want to add another layer, layer, I can do so in here. If I want to add text, um, have the text tool. You can change the color, the size, the even the font, and you can also. Um, Add gradients and undo actions. Add filters. It has a bunch of filters. Um, adjust the saturation, the, the the brightness and contrast, all that kind of good stuff. It's a more professional option, um, but it does take time to to get used to. So if you have some experience with Illustrator, if you have some experience with Photoshop, this will be a piece of cake. Um, but if you don't, you may want to try Google Drawings first um, and then maybe Canva um, so that you can get used to uh, the different uh, photo editing capabilities 
And then pixel editor is a great option once you, you want to go a little bit more professional. So I hope this presentation is helpful. And if you have any questions, please let me know. My email is socialmedia at utrgb.edu. Thank you so much.